guys, uh, welcome to another lesson. Uh, this one's gonna be really cool, this one's paradiddles. Um, paradiddles are really cool because you can really create your own sound and create variations to make your solos a bit more creative than just soloing with rolls or, you know, you might have hit a wall where you kind of don't know what else to do and this would be a really good lesson for you to kind of get more tools in your toolbox so you can be a boss soloer on the Dard Booker. So, just a first quick tip with uh, any exercises or warm-ups or practices, you kind of want to just do a bit of a quick stretch. So arm out, pull your fingers back towards your body, hold for about five to 10 seconds, and you'll feel a bit of pressure on your wrist there. Now the opposite, put your hands up, palms out, and pull your fingers towards you. And really connect with what you do, okay? When you play on the Darbuka, you, you're not thinking about life anymore. You're just thinking about connecting to yourself, silencing yourself, silencing your monkey mind as a lot of us uh, are not trained on how to just be. So let's be a human being, not a doing. So once we've done that, shake off the fingers a bit, push the hands a bit together, okay? Now, if you don't know, let's look at this as a five. Let's look at the ring as a seven. The left hand's gonna be a one and a three, okay, on the ring. So index, ring, index, ring. Five, seven, one, three. Okay? Now, we want to make sure that when we are playing, we're using our first joint of the finger to make sure that we're actually playing on where the skin meets the rim, okay? So we're gonna go para diddle, para diddle. Okay. That's just a single paradiddle, okay? Now we can, instead of playing the, starting on the five, we can play a doom with the right hand. Doom, okay? Okay? Doom. Okay, so just get used to that. So we can go like this, put a slap in there as well, okay? So, do. Also put an accent on the left hand. So just get used to that. fingers as well if you need to. Okay? Okay? That's a pretty cool groove. We can also go Dooms. Doom, 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 doom. Para diddle, para diddle. Okay, left hand, doom, 
it's going to be over the top, making sure that it's sounding the same as the right doom. Okay, so. So you could put that on the tail as you can go like. Next one, you can do that. Okay. So we can go. Okay, a lot of cool things you could do with paradiddles. Um, we can go. Make sure we got that strong left hand accent as well. So, okay, the high, these are high tones when we're playing up here. High tones. Okay. Okay, imagine that's your snare drum on a drum kit. Tap, da ta, okay. Very cool. So, what else? We can go this one. So you can do many, many things, but we'll keep that really short and simple to the point. Uh, I know this lesson is going to help you a lot. So if you like this video, smash that like and uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video, guys. And I hope that you keep drumming with passion and you love the journey that you're on. So until next time, see you later, guys.